Hi guys, welcome back to Gunshots and today on this absolutely glorious spring day um, I'm here at Bible Shooting Ground with the Caesar Garini Summit um, This is a review that is a long time coming I looked at the Invictus last year and as you recall um, on a very similar day actually this was um, a gun that I really really enjoyed shooting um, This is its sort of junior partner in the uh, Caesar lineup um, at around about a thousand pounds less so I think um, these retail for around about two and a half the Invictus starts at around about three and a half um, so basically what's the difference what's um what are you losing for your for your grand less and the answer is obviously you don't get the um, that really beefy um, action with the um, the Invictus which is uh, a real war horse of a thing um, this thing's a bit lighter um, I think the chassis is shared with a number of the Caesar products but this gun is second hand and it's, it's seen some mileage this thing and to be honest it still feels really really well um, it isn't as heavy as I would like um, I must admit I've not weighed it I'll, um, I'll add a weight into the description below when I uh, check it out but um, it doesn't have the same sort of heavyweight beef of the Invictus but then again not everybody wants that from a gun at two and a half grand it stacks up against the uh, 690 692 series uh, Berettas or the 725 sort of basic 725 guns and as such I think this would be a great choice let's look at the, the technical bits obviously you get as usual with um, Goonies you get a rake of um, these external chokes that pattern really really nicely um, 30 inch tubes on this also available in a 32 ventilated mid rib uh, nice Nicely checkered top rib with a centre tram line, front mid bead and a front bead. Um, the uh, forend I am... Well, okay, this is an older one with this horrible tulip shape. As you're aware, I hate the, that, that on, a, on a gun. But the newer ones uh, do have a much more finger-friendly shape, um, which I prefer. Nicely checkered, nice bit of wood on it. It's not interstellar, but for two and a half grand, you're not going to get, um, you know, burr walnut or anything, but it looks well enough. Um, the checkering so is um, well executed, and uh, the ergonomics on this are really, really nice. Uh, nice pistol grip, well radiused, good, good palm swell, fits really well, good adjustable trigger. Um, the action itself is nicely finished with this um, quite simple pattern, but um, enough to give it a, um, a bit, of, bit of stuff to look at. Deeply engraved, uh, the motif carries on at the trigger guard. This is obviously silver, although the, uh, I think the silver one is slightly uh, less common than the black one. Um, top lever, barrel selector on top. Um, it does, I have noticed, have the same thing where I have occasionally, I think, accidentally knocked it onto the wrong barrel when, uh, when opening it up because the, uh, uh, the, the checkering on the, the barrel selector is, is quite um, easy to catch, I think, as you uh, pop that, that lever over. Um, trigger, really, really good, actually. Um, very, very light, um, great pulls and quite crisp. It's an inertia system rather than a mechanical. Moving back onto the stock, it's um, adjustable, this one, um, well proportioned, um, fits quite nicely out of the box, although, like I said, this is adjustable, and this gun's been fitted with a Jones adjuster. I'm not including the Jones adjuster in the, uh, in the review because it, um, obviously you won't get one when you buy a standard gun, although it's worth mentioning that, that if you've not seen one before, um, this allows you to move essentially the pad around in sort of 360 degrees around a, the, the centre axis, and it allows you to sort of change the fit of the gun as it hangs it at your shoulder. On this gun, however, it has made it a little bit heavy at the tail end because there's a, a bit more metalwork back here than you would normally get. So I'm sort of omitting it from the review. Um, as I said, this is um, up against the um, 692 and the 75, and by no means is it out of its league in that in that price bracket. It's a lovely gun. I think it's probably about as pretty a gun as you're going to see for this amount of money. And um, it handles really, really well. There's nothing really bad about it, if I'm brutally honest. You're not, I think... Um, gonna score badly wrong if you was to buy one of these um, I've really enjoyed shooting it um, I don't think I've got any negatives at all to sort of uh, to throw at this gun it's um it's a little light for me I think it's probably the only thing uh, but as you are aware I like great big lumpy heavy guns like McGregor or uh, or the big brother the Invictus um, in terms of what you've lost obviously as I said you're not getting that um, interchangeable um, war horse of, a, of an action that you get with the Invictus and whether or not you need that I think is is probably the difference is, is the extra money that you're going to spend other than that it's a corker um, it's worth mentioning of course it does come in different styles this being the sporter you can also get the ascent and the impact are also available on this gun so you get all of the, uh, the options available
So conclusions then. Um, look, it's two and a half grand in this price bracket alongside the guns that it's competing with this is a really really strong contender it's very very pretty handles really well great triggers loads of bits with it what more do you want i mean um, i think they're a, they're, a, they're a really solid buy um the only uh, negatives i've heard although it's not even a negative i've been asked um several times what do you think of these in terms of longevity this is about an, as old a second hand Guarini as i've seen um and it still shoots really well there's nothing wrong with it all the finish still looks great on it um i think with a 10-year warranty you've got now to worry about and i think that this is a really really cracking gun for the money so guys thanks very much for tuning in um do please um have a look at the rest of my videos have a look on Patreon and uh, consider supporting the channel if you enjoy it. Subscribe and um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Take it easy guys, see you next time.